The following segment is sponsored by Ward MD Facial Plastic Surgery and Form Derm Spa. Sometimes it can be hard to know which medical professional we should go to for certain treatments and procedures. Dr. Daniel Ward is here to break it down for us. Welcome, Dr. Ward. Great to see you. Thanks for having me. Of course, we love having you here. Okay, let's start with the dermatologist. What is their expertise? So, like the name suggests, a dermatologist is an expert in the skin. So anything to do with the skin, whether it's skin cancer, whether it's little lumps or bumps, that, that's what they do. That's what so they do. both medical things as well as more cosmetic things. So dermatologists are great with Botox, they're great with fillers, they're great with lasers. Anything to do with the skin, dermatologist is your person. Now what kind of concerns should we have like when we want to see them? Sure, so fine lines, wrinkles, spots. Mm -hmm. Also don't forget, you know, the, the most important thing is to avoid things like cancer. You know, if there is a spot, yeah. making sure that it's not something that should be concerning. That's what dermatologists are experts at. Yeah, those are really good points. Okay, what about a plastic surgeon? Let's talk about their expertise. Sure. So plastic surgeons have, there's some overlap between what a dermatologist does, what a plastic surgeon does. A plastic surgeon certainly has some element of knowledge about the skin. That's important. But think a little bit deeper for that, you know, deeper structure. So for me, I'm a facial plastic surgeon. I only do face. So things like the nose, the face, you know, getting like a facelift or eyelids done. Those are the sorts of things that a plastic surgeon would take care of. So they evolve the skin, but also kind of some of the deeper structures like like the muscle or the fascia that's deeper down there. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we know how to choose a plastic surgeon? Do we Google? Is it word of mouth? What's the best way? Sure. Well, that is um, easier said than done. Because yeah. there's, there's no right answer. Like, some of them are, are really easy to figure out, and some of them aren't. I think the bare minimum way to look for a good surgeon or a good provider is, first of all, look for board certification. That's like a bare minimum. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that they've at least met those requirements. Beyond that, I think the very most important thing is what do they do a lot of? You know that old saying, tinker of all trades, master of none? That's a good point. Like, it just stands to reason, right? Like, the more you do of something, the better you're going to, going to be at it. Yeah. So look for somebody. You know, if, if they do uh, 200 or something a year, they're probably better at it than if they do two a year. That's something really as point. simple as that. And then finally, and this is like one of those, you know, kind of more artsy sort of non-black and white sort of things, is when you're entering into this um, team with with your surgeon or with your provider mm -hmm. like it really is like we are on the same team like you got to pick your teammate well like they're you're working with them to try to get the result that you want and you want to find somebody that you're going to like to work with that's very if, true you want a good team right right because you know it's, it's medicine it's black it's not black and white it's not yeah. engineering it's, yeah. it's there's a lot of gray area and as a result there are things like infections there's complications that can happen that can happen sure. you want somebody who's on your team that's going to work with you that's committed to you and i think that's by far the very most important thing those are really good tips okay what about an esthetician lastly sure so estheticians vitally important for skin care estheticians you know they haven't gone to medical school but they are experts in the aesthetic care of skin so skincare products you know something like topical products medical grade mm -hmm. skincare all the way up to lasers. A lot of what an esthetician can do varies highly between from state to state. In the state of Utah, estheticians can do uh, some fairly aggressive laser procedures and they do a really good job. I think one thing that's important, and most of the estheticians are, are just amazing at this, they follow the rules very carefully. Yeah but making sure that they're working with a physician who kind of knows what they're doing and can oversee those medical treatments. Well, and that's why you want to trust the professional. So if you have any questions, you can go to where for more. For so my website's wardmd.com or formdermspa.com. Okay, you're awesome. Thanks for all the tips, Dr. Ward. Thank Great you. to see you.